Welcome back to Frontline News. I am Aisha Nation. It's now time for Frontline Business. Digicel Jamaica says it is making it possible for local talents to be a part of the new digital wave. And according to Digicel Jamaica CEO Jabur Kemav, talents have always been a part of the company's top priority. And as part of efforts to ensure that its mandate is carried out, it has given numerous young people the opportunities to work with Digicel. He added that the next global application made by Digicel could possibly be made in Jamaica. He made the disclosure during Digicel's 20th anniversary press conference on Monday. And the next global app to come from Jamaica. I don't know what that app will be. I don't know. That's right? very possible. It is. It is. And that's a dream-driven thing. Yes. So we, we thought there are so many talents. And it's my personal experience. I'm meeting youngsters 14 years old, 13 years old. 15 and I'm thinking I'm old yeah and I'm just 40 yeah <laughs> so what we thought is we're gonna come up with some kind of digital incubator it's more or less like business incubator yes. but we're gonna we're gonna launch some kind of competition calling out all those digital talents all those youngsters who, who, who think outside of the box who think from who, who think about the future yeah right and we're going to create the, create the environment in competitive way for them so they can get the best out of Digicel and make their dreams come true. And Digicel continues to give back, not only through the development of digital applications and the inclusion of young people, but also through the Digicel Foundation. Now speaking, also at the Digicel's 20th anniversary press conference, CEO for Digicel Foundation, Charmaine Daniels, disclosed that they also have initiatives in place for anyone who wishes to give back. Well, for our 20th, we're going to be launching today a grant, a special grant program that was created to really get back in touch with our grassroots. So we're going to our retail stores. The grant is called 20 for 20. If you go on our website, you'll see under the Mecca Muckle um, grant program, the 20 for 20 grant, and it is aimed at community projects. So how can you do something that's great in your community? It could be a community center, it could be a school. Yes. Any project, the grant amount is 650,000 Jamaican dollars, and you can apply through the retail stores, you can apply online. And this is forming the first part of our activity with the whole business where we will do a project in I your community. That. She added that they have been changing the narrative on those with special needs by continuing to advocate for them. The American Fiber Company has launched an e-commerce platform that sells certified organic cannabidiol CBD products grown in Jamaica and Colombia directly to consumers. Over the next few months, American Fiber expects to incorporate topical and edible items. The company was the first to import finished goods from Colombia in early 2020 and CBD distillate from Jamaica late last year through the subsidiary Candelay Industries. In Monday's trading session, the JSC combined index advanced by 570.13 points to close at just under 400,000 units. Now, overall market activity resulted from trading in 97 stocks, of which 43 advanced, 30 declined, and 24 traded firm. The junior market index advanced by 25.53 points to close at just over 3,000 units. 138 students living in Jamaica, Access Financial Services, AMG Packaging and Paper Company, Burita Investments and Berger Paints Jamaica Limited. Now stocks declined for Blue Power Group, CAC 2000 9.5% Cumulative Redeemable Preference Shares, CAC 2000 Limited, Caribbean Assurance Brokers and Caribbean Cement Company Limited. Now trading firm were eight. 1934 Investments, Cargo Handlers, Sibony Group, Dolphin Cove, and Epley Limited 8.25%. Now, Trans Jamaican Highway Limited was the volume leader with 3.4 million units, followed by Wigton Wind Farm Limited Ordinary Shares with 1.3 million units, and Mailpack Group Limited with 555,210 units. And now for the foreign exchange.
Oil prices edged higher on Monday, supported by a weaker U.S. dollar, but gains were capped by concerns about the impact on demand from rising coronavirus cases in India. Brent crude settled up 28 cents at $67.05 a barrel after rising 6% last week. Now, West Texas Intermediate WTI U.S. oil ended the session up 25 cents at $63.38 a barrel, having gained 6.4% last week. And that's it for Frontline Business. I am Maisha Nation wishing you pleasant viewing.